You guys have heard uh, my story a little bit and I've mentioned a number of different times these mentors that came into my life and I've kind of talked to them at, as though they were kind of fictional characters, but they are actually real human beings and these are them. From a confidence standpoint, from, yep. a, from a standpoint of knowing that you could even go out there and, and can, I, can I do this, you know, yeah. so where did that, where so, did that come from? A lot of it came from some mentors that came into my life. Yeah. Now my business partners. And really, you know, when I was in that bad place, they saw more in me than I saw myself at the time. Yeah. And they believed in me and they really breathed that confidence back into me. Because not only, you know, the confidence of having a business failure, the confidence of the, of the marriage failure. I, I mean, my confidence was at an all time low. Yeah. And they gave me an opportunity, you know, to come work with them. And it was the perfect system for me to be plugged into three and a half years ago i was broke i was in debt i was out of shape i was depressed lonely this could go on some mentors came into my life and started pouring confidence into me pouring affirmations thought there was more in me than I saw in myself at that time. And it was during that time that I started waging war on personal change. In all reality, Joseph has been one of the biggest mentors and person that's been instrumental in this transformation that I've gone through over the past few years. And um, I'm extremely grateful for that. I'm not going to look him in the eye when I say it, but um, it's a podcast, so you didn't see it anyways. <laughs> <laughs> you only heard him not look me in the eye. You know, with Joseph, Joseph has always been in this constant pursuit of, you know, seeking discomfort doing the uncomfortable things, doing the difficult things, and just putting himself in these extremely uncomfortable positions. Um, but a lot of that, you know, you, you get to a place in your life where things get comfortable. And I saw him in those situations become very uncomfortable with how comfortable it was getting. And that, you know, provoked the same thing in me because it's in that discomfort that we ultimately you know, find our growth and find our next level. And so you know, he has been a, a shining example of that. And uh, there's so many different ways just on a daily basis that they you know, help me grow and become a better leader um, just by example and really following their example. But um, we have such a strong culture of growth here. And whether that's you know, constantly reading books and uh, consuming you know, self-development type content, but also just feeding off one another. Uh, we're running at a pretty fast pace, and I think it's this competitive nature of us trying to keep up with one another and trying to one-up each other um, has been really, really awesome. And so for me, it was a very lucky, and I think that luck does play a role. Like, I, I don't know how these guys came into my life, uh, just very, very randomly, but they gave me an opportunity, but it was what I did with that opportunity.